Hello and welcome back to Super Mum Society. Resources for a better, easier, happier motherhood. Who doesn't want a happier motherhood? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you why I think it is essential to have family rules. <laughs> As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them enjoy their motherhoods too. Family rules. These aren't just rules for the kids and I'm not talking about like no swearing or like no Xbox after like 9pm, whatever it is that is important to you. I'm talking about like general rules for the whole family. Things like having family dinners, may, the more hectic your family life is maybe that there's a once a week that you do it. We do it six times a week. We have six, six days a week we do family dinner and then once a week we will have a couple's dinner and we will feed our daughter at normal dinner time and then once she's gone to bed we will have a dinner just the two of us. Normally this is on a Friday night, but if we have something special happening, maybe we're going out with friends one night, we will make sure we have dinner with her on the Friday night and we go out with friends on the other night and that becomes our like couple dinner. Or if my partner's um, working all the weekend, he's working away the weekend, we always have a Chinese takeaway on the night he comes back. So that would mean that becomes our couple's dinner night and she has dinner early in the evening on that night. Things like that matter too. Us and create this lovely air of structure and these lovely sort of special family ties. I guess they cross over somewhere between being family rules and family traditions, but there is a lot to say for making your family feel like this special secret club that has its own sort of like secret, like the whole like tree house with like no boys allowed tree house type thing. It made it feel very special and there was a certain level of security of being part of that special little club. And for me, that's what I want to create in my family environment. And that's why for me, it's essential to have these family rules. We don't work on Sundays now. Yes, there are some exceptions to the rule. Sometimes my partner is working away speaking and he will speak Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He will have to work on the Sunday. I will, but we do outside of things like that. We don't schedule work to do on the Sunday unless she's asleep. So if she's asleep. When she's asleep, she doesn't know. But no, it's not like that. It's she's asleep, but family time is kept for family time, and we don't schedule blocks of work. We wouldn't book appointments and stuff like that unless we absolutely, absolutely have to on a Sunday. There's no other option if they're only open Sundays. Obviously, that gives your like like common sense flexibility. I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but I just know that you'd get like loads of comments going, but we have to do that. Set your own day or maybe there's a half a day or maybe you say no work after 8 p.m. or no work between 5 and 7.30 and then you can work after that depending on, but it like what you do. But having whatever it is set in place as a structure, as a, like a family rule, can really unite the family. It can help stop. I talked about this in a in a podcast recently that may or may not have gone out before this. Um, about how it can stop the the constant pestering and constant nagging if you have working hours. So your kids know that unless it's emergency, you don't bother mummy in that like twenty minute break that she has. And I go into this in much more detail in the podcast. But it's family rules like that that help to take away this constant feel of doing, doing, doing. Um, if you have your family rules of what time dinner time is, and maybe as your kids get older, they can handle variations in those times, but maybe they know that Monday night is this time and Tuesday night is this time. And they can then fit in around those rules and those structures and those traditions, as opposed to constantly batting heads. We weren't kids that long ago. Surely we can remember how frustrating it is when you like get into a game or a chat with your friend on whatever it was, MSN Messenger, and then your mum's like, it's dinner time. And you're like, oh, well, I've just started this thing or I've just done this and I don't really know I pulled away. If they specifically know that dinner is always at 7.30 on a Tuesday, they're not gonna start a thing like two minutes before as often. Again, kids, teenagers, have their own minds. 
we always roll with it, but you are limiting the possibility of issues. There will always be issues and celery, life happens and this is about limiting the issues and making the best of all the situations and I find that so much of that can be helped by having these family rules, these family traditions in place that create a basic structure and overview and routine to your life. Having a certain day, a family rule day that like the food shop go happens on Saturday morning or dad places the Ocado order on a Thursday night, get your orders in before Thursday night or you're not gonna like have the pat lunch of your dreams come the following Monday give them that structure and things to work in because there's been so much research that has been done about kids thriving, having a certain amount of structure and routine. Like so much and yes, there is the odd exception, but the majority, and if you are not sure whether they do or don't, <laughs> set up a solid routine and give them a chance to get used to it and see the improvements that that can bring into your life. Having structure and routine certainly brought so many improvements to my life on so many levels before I became a mum and after I became a mum. And that's why I've become fascinated behind the research and things and the fact that there is so much research proving that hypothesis. I feel like that's the right word. Proving that hypothesis and yet people still aren't doing it. Because setting up routines and setting up family rules and setting up working hours and things like that takes a lot of effort at the beginning. But the reward is so much. And for me, that is why I think it is essential, essential, essential to have family rules. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. So please pop your specific family rules in the comments down below. And remember that being a super mom is all about being the mom that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.